So, you've got Fusion downloaded and you want to be able to create amazing effects for free. Keep watching. The first one is a fake camera shake movement. You might have a locked off shot similar to this one or anything else and you want to add a bit of hand movement to it. You can head up to effects, go down to open effects and search for shake and just add on this camera shake transition and it pretty much does it for you. But if you head over to effects over here and change the blanking handling to replicate, I have no idea what it does, but it's what the tutorial told me to do. And so you have your camera shake effect on here. Of course, you can adjust all of these to whatever you want, to how little, how much you want it to shake, and that depends on your style of editing and what you need to be shaking. So the next one is adding on fake anamorphic flares. Now with really expensive anamorphic lenses, you can get these really nice looking lighting with the flares going across the screen. And it's usually what Hollywood films use if it's like a torch in a horror film or something. You can see the flares going across the screen. And now this is how you do that. Now on DaVinci, you head over to the color tab. And when you're in this color tab, you open up the effects panel and you can search for glow and drag that on. Obviously, if you've already done color grading, probably add this on first. When you've got this up, you change the HV ratio, which is a horizontal vertical. So you want a horizontal one. So put that all the way up and you can change the spread to be whatever you like, as well as the brightness of it, however you like. And then you have anamorphic flares, it's that simple. Now sticking to lighting, you might want this sort of look going through the trees there of, uh, of, of light rays. Now if you find a clip that doesn't have any light rays like this one for example, this clip might look quite cool with light rays. So you head over to the effects on open effects and you search for light rays and then you can change the length of it to how long you want as well as the Y and X ratio depending on what you want as well. And it does a very good job and it dodges all the trees. It just, it looks like it's come straight out of the camera. It's insane. I don't know how they do this. The fourth effect is kind of like an inception or mirror dimension sort of effect. And it's a case of just searching in open effects for mirrors, dragging that on, going up to the effects panel, changing it to negative 90 degrees. So it's up top and then changing the Y value so that it's on top of each other. And then you have a uh, inception sort of mirror effect thing which also looks kind of cool and now you might have seen this sort of effects in a lot of people's videos i haven't before to be honest but it's the outline sort of effects so if you have your clip you duplicate it you can either hold alt and drag or you can just control c and then go somewhere else in timeline and control v and then move that on top it's up to you how you do that go over here and search for edge detect and then you have this cool sort of cool neon look which you might want to stick with but we are not today on the composite mode, change it to add and you can increase the size a tad. On, on the effect panel, change mode to grayscale edges and you can change the width and the brightness however much you want. There's quite a bit of noise in the background usually though, so you might wanna up the gamma a bit and it gets rid of the noise in the background, but the car has still got the outline and then, then you're left with this sole, cool sort of outline thing on the object. Now the last one is just quite a cool digital effect, which to my knowledge anyway, Premiere Pro and After Effects do not have a really simple way of doing this. You've got to do all these sort of layers and make it all complicated. But on here, you can just add an adjustment layer above the clip and then search for digital glitch and it's sorted. Obviously in the effects panel, you can change all sorts. You can change the chrome aberration, you can change the height, you can change the width. You can just make it stop start whenever you want. So say you're doing a music video and you want it to just pump up with glitch. And at the same time, actually, you could always make the glitch even more effective by adding cuts where it glitches and zooming the footage in just a tad. Glitch, glitch out, that sort of thing. And then you have your glitch. So yeah, get on and use these. They're free, they're easy. Six things, six, yeah, use them.